How do you pour concrete on the side of the mountain? You have a concrete truck, a pump truck with a lot of hose, and a dozer to help get you out. pouring Tower 6 at the Disciple Ski Slope at Boyne Mountain, USA, where they're installing the largest flywheel on their new eight-person lift. High speed to the top, we're talking smooth transition down at the bottom of the hill, get seven of your friends, and speed up to the top of the mountain. So talking to Doppelmeyer about the conditions, they're saying great conditions for this mountain. When they work uh, all across the world, usually they're in mountainous or rocky terrain where they're bringing in ready mix through a helicopter. Here it's a little bit different. We can actually build roads. That's what Team Elmers did here on this project. We brought gravel in to be able to get access for our equipment, for our machinery. Today they were able to get up the hill. Uh, we have the dozer on standby should they need help getting out. This truly is a team effort. We have our pump truck from Mount Pleasant because the ones in Traverse City were already booked. We have a concrete truck from Lanson coming together in Boyne City pouring this foundation. This foundation is a foot and a half thick, and then they'll continue with steel posts that'll hold the cabling and bring the eight person chairlift up to the top of the mountain. So we had another successful pour. All the ready mix is in place. Spence Brothers is here. They're gonna flow out, finish the surface, get that ready to go for those steel casings to go up for the towers. And let's go see how the truck's doing getting out. Everyone needs a little help from their friends sometimes. The concrete pump truck getting some help from the CAT D6T dozer. Concrete truck able to get out, six wheel drive, not a problem. Concrete pump truck needs a little help from their friends. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.